Hello guys, I'm Hafiz and thank you once again for tuning in for IG. Basically, I'll be fixing Redline Racer today. Uh, what you need to do is to actually install and glide first. It's a 3D FX wrapper. I'm sure by now most of you guys knows how to do that. So just click on the link below to download it. It will link you to the website and download and glide from there and install it. Once you have done that, insert the CD-ROM in your CD drive and um, you're gonna copy all of the folders out all the files inside to anywhere in your preferred drive It doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna go on to games and create a folder RR Whoops, sorry about that RR all right and copy all the files out once you have copied all the files out You just gonna delete the unnecessary files if you wish that is Basically optional you don't have to delete them if you don't want to So I'm just gonna show you which other files that is not necessary I'm highlighting it for you at the moment. Whoops, sorry. Yeah. Um, this one, going game ins, don't delete that, okay? All these are not required to run the game. Um, next up, you just scroll down a little bit further. Since we are running in 3D FX, we can delete off the D3D. Setups, all the setup. All right. Uh, basically, you can delete all this if you want to now again this is optional all right if you deleted that you still you can still launch the game um what you need to do next is actually just launch the rlr 3d fx as long as you have your Anglad installed and you will see the 3d fx logo over here and the first thing you'll be prompted out with your um, credentials so i suggest you actually enter your credentials different from red line don't use red line okay fyg or you know whatever your credentials are and select your team all right this is where we stop once you are once you are in here exit back okay exit the game and relaunch the game again why i say that is because i need to make sure or we need to make sure that the game actually save our progression basically it saves our uh, credentials and whatever we have selected so how to know that is basically when you click on start it's gonna enter straight away to the main menu it's not gonna ask you to key in your name again okay that's how we actually um, know that the game actually is safe so you can just gonna change your controls to whichever you prefer Good. and graphics I recommend pulling everything to the max Whoa. Uh, anyway just pull everything to the max so and awesome. as for sound if you yeah. want to turn on the 3d hardware you actually need to pop in the game in your creative alchemy Select and option. it will work yeah. um, if you don't have a creative al a creative sound card then most probably Select. it won't yeah. so what we're gonna do now is just to test on a track like. so it doesn't matter you know I'm not really good at the game but I'm Three, just gonna show you two, one, go! okay um, why I recommend even though the installer works okay the installer will work but why I recommend not to install the game is because I don't know with glitches or whatsoever whatever key you map after that meaning if you use your arrow keys or stuff to um, control the game you will notice that the bike won't move it's like the game is not detecting whatever you've configured so if you copy out straight from the CD-ROM it will eventually work so I don't know what's up with that so again I don't recommend installing the game um, just copy out whatever it is from your CD drive and then paste it in your C drive folder and you can play the game all right yeah so that's just a test and that's it so I hope you enjoy the tutorial video it's pretty simple and thank you once again for checking out FYG